Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by RW Prime, good times, great steaks. Best Market, your neighborhood's first choice. Riverhead Bay Motors, specializing in Subaru and Volkswagen. Shallon Self-Defense Center, classes for men, women, and children, kick with the best. Fire News, serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental, located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumang, fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service, servicing the food industry since 1963, located in Farmingville, New York. And FirefightersFashions.com, the swag of firefighters apparel. We got a great show today. Hello, America. I am cooking with Rob Rapoli from the firehouse. I was actually, de I was in detailed. I was, what was that, rotation. Rotate. Rotate. I was on rotation for, yeah. I was there for 18 months in the beginning yeah. of my career. A lot of good laughs. A lot of good laughs at 263, engine 263 in Astoria. This is Rob Rapoli. We call him Rip. Yes, and uh, Pleasure to be. great working. Pleasure to have you, Rob. Now, Rob, when I was working at 263, was like the best cook in the firehouse. I know the guys across the floor at 117 are saying, oh, no, no, <laughs> we're the best. But Rapoli always made great, great things, and I think we're making pizza today, right? Yeah, yeah. We did uh, 20 years in the pizza business, too, so uh, I got some experience. And uh, Guys love it. Guys love the pizza, but I'm not sure if they like uh, the fact that I make my pizzas or the, that when I cook, I do all the work, so I'm not quite sure they like the little time off and the break, so I, I, I haven't figured that out yet, right? So You know what, Rob? I we'll worked see. with you. I, it's probably because you did all the work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm not doing the pizza. <laughs> you, you, you probably could have went, went to the bathroom on a plate. Yeah, like it if absolutely. You did all the work. absolutely. I'm just joking. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, all right. Uh, so uh, what is, what's so special about this pizza you make it today? Okay, what we're doing today is going to make uh, two pies. All right, I'm going to have a uh, breakfast pizza okay. for one, which is going to be bacon and eggs because uh, there's a lot of uh, functions in the firehouse early in the morning. And guys come in for St. Patrick's Day, parades, funerals, unfortunately. And uh, the morning, it's, it's a great, you know, fills them up. They, they eat pizza anyway, 24 7, these guys. So uh, for them to uh, have a nice uh, breakfast pizza with bacon and eggs, they love it. And the other pie is going to be uh, half sausage and broccoli rob. And the other half is going to be different types of peppers. And I'm going to, I was going to show you uh, the three different phases of th three different types of peppers. One of them is going to be homemade peppers from the garden that we actually grew at my house. And we uh, yeah, hold these up. And we preserve them. Peppers from the garden. I yeah, love we, we preserve them on the vinegar. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that. And then we're going to do some uh, roasted peppers right on the flame and uh, some frying peppers in the oven. A little combination for everybody. All right, so let's get started. All right. So uh, first thing started is that we're going to make, uh, we have to prepare the sauce for the pizza, okay? okay? So what we do is, now, like I said, we're only making two pies right now. So it's usually a can per pie. So I happen to like red pack. I use one crushed mm -hmm. and I used one whole peel tomatoes. Now the whole peel tomatoes, I've chopped them up on the side already, as you can see, but so add them up. Bear them right in there. It's a very simple sauce. It's an uncooked sauce, okay? And it has basil and fresh basil, and we have garlic. And what we do with the garlic is three cloves. Move this out of the way, right? Right. Three cloves per pizza. So three cloves per pizza. We don't right. have too much garlic overpowering. All right, we I we did that before, and it's just too much. Now, are we <laughs> using the sauce on both pies, or do we just use yeah sauce on both pies? Uh, the yeah. The breakfast pie will be a little bit, a uh, little bit less, a little, a little bit less. less or, yeah. yeah, but uh, for the now, for the most part, we're going to ch chop up the garlic, and it helps to make this sauce maybe like the day before or a few hours before, you know. Cool. In our firehouse, what we do is Sunday night pizza night. That's what we do because Sunday nights a little crazy. A lot of supermarkets closed, so the guys instead of buying like fast food or something like that, these guys will like it. And now they're actually picking out their own pizzas and they're helping out making their own pies. So 
I right. said, yeah, so, they, they, oh, so you guys don't order. You make pizza every Sunday night. Every Sunday night, pizza. We make them, we make them wow, ourselves. We make awesome. them ourselves, yeah. Yeah, so this is right now here. We had the two cans of tomatoes, the garlic, and we're going to use uh, fresh basil. That's now, cool. I like to go back to finishing the sauce, Ray. We, we, left, we have the basil and we have the garlic in here. And what we have to do is add a generous amount of olive oil, 100% virgin olive oil. 100%. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the cheaper olive oils just don't cut it when you cook. Okay, and as far as salt goes, we're using two pies, so you just want to use a small amount, one pie, two, two pies. pies, that's it. I like a lot of salt, but that looked like a lot of salt. That was good. It does, but you know what, right? It, there's a lot of other ingredients in here that's so salty, you have to watch yourself. So you stir it up, and now we're pretty good. Now this is actually, is another recipe you can make is pasta in a raw sauce, if you want it to on a summer day. This is uncooked, so you boil like uh, spaghetti, linguine on the side. As soon as it's ready, throw it right in here. Toss it and serve it. It's we like actually pasta had, and a raw sauce. We had the founders of Friends of Firefighters. They made that with their oh, yeah? chicken romano or something. Oh, okay. I don't know what the names? There you but go. it was to die for. I never, I could, I would never even think to eat cold. It's potatoes. a, gr it's a great summer dish. It's, it's excellent. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna leave this on the side, and what I want to do now is do some of the prep with, with the uh, the peppers. Now, the peppers we we'll use this tray right here. Obviously come from the supermarket just like this. They're pre-washed, okay? Now they're very simple. People think you gotta cut them up and, uh, no, leave them whole. Put them, put them just like this. Stems on? Stems on and everything. A little, bit of, little bit of olive oil like this. Some more of that salt. I think we're gonna leave it, up. Leave it on the table here. There you go. Salt them up. This is pretty good, man. Oh yeah. And uh, roast them in the oven just as is. Throw them in. They're gonna roast up. When they're done, in about 15 minutes. You grab that with that. Put it in your hands. Yes, for sure. They're gonna look like this. They're gonna be caramelized. They look like they're burning, they're not. You wanna leave them in there, and that's how they look. They look ready Finished. to eat right now. Oh, that's it. You put them on a dish and serve them. That looks like a snack. Guys love them just like this. Oh, it is, it's a snack. It's a, absolutely, you can, put this, you can serve this with pieces of cheese, whatever you want, but we're gonna, we're gonna put them on the pizza. Now, the only thing, we, before we put them on a the pizza, is that you have to realize that there's stems, in, there's the seeds and the stems inside. Okay. So what you're gonna do with that is you're just gonna cut out. So you want those seeds out? There. Yeah, you so want the seeds out. Well, oh, I'm pleasant eating that, you know. Well, that was pretty. Uh, that was easy. Very, very simple. Olive oil, salt, roast them, but, and don't take them out too. Sure. Don't take them out too early. You want them caramelized. Okay. Caramelized. And we'll, we'll save them later for the. Uh, that's it. Okay. All right. Now, the other peppers we're gonna talk about is these peppers right here. The these are from Rip's Rapoli Garden. Oh, before we cut, before you forget, I wanna say, oh. say hello to my wife, my son Antonino, my wife Rosa, my son Antonino, and my uh, daughter Rose, who couldn't be here today. They wanted to be here, but school's in session. Very, very Irish family. Yes. What was it, Antonino? Antonino and Rose and Rosa. Rosa. And Rosa, oh my goodness. What's your wife's maiden name? Jenna, G-E-N-N-A, Jenna. Jenna, very nice. Yes. Okay, now, these peppers, these, in the store if you'd buy them would be called, uh, ooh, little oil there, mm -hmm. hot Portuguese peppers. They, uh, they grow in our garden, and they, they turn red if you leave them onto the vine. Are but, they spicy? Uh, actually, they're, they're in the middle. They turn red if you leave them on the vines. What we do is we pick them early at the green stage, okay, and, uh, and then we jar them at the green stage so they're not as hot. Now it's so simple to make. 24 hours salt, 24 hours... Oil? Uh, no, white vinegar. White vinegar, that's and, it. And then right under the oil, and you're done. It's so this... it's, And they're good for years under the jar. Regular oil, you don't have to use olive oil. So they're pickles, it's delicious. Yeah, oh and, and you, you use them all year round. Peppers and eggs, you, uh, on a pizza, you wanna make pork chops, potatoes and peppers, you use them, and you cook with this oil too, because this what, oil has got so much flavor in it. What's crazy about them is you put it in your mouth, and it hits you like it's gonna be a hot pepper. But it's not. And then it just balance out, it's yeah. very sweet. It's yeah, no, it's, it's a, it's a, and they're so easy to make, they really are. So that's gonna be the second pizza that we're gonna put on. Delicious. The only thing I can tell you is that when you're preparing any type of the peppers like that, make sure you got rubber gloves on. Okay. Okay? It's, not, nice a, it's not a nice experience if uh, you touch your eyes, you touch your eyes yeah. uh, anywhere else, it's a problem. So. I've done that, I'm not, I'm not so. big on spices. Yeah, I'm so. not, I, I like a little spicy. Mm -hmm. You know, I like, like like Frank's hot sauce, I like regular Tabasco sauce, but any of those, you know those, those sauce cotton, those uh, red hot sauce cotton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way, right. no way. Right, so this is, uh, you just have to be prepared for that. Now what we do is we just cut the stem off, remove the seeds, 
and that's how you do it. Now, at, at earlier stage, later stages, when you're making this, if you want to complicate it a little bit, you could throw anchovies in there, a piece of cheese, and then everything goes under the oil. But for the most part, you can make your own jar in there with cauliflower, carrots, you know, it's basically salt and vinegar. The next toast of that's my it. house kitchen. That's it, this that's it. This is unbelievable, it. Right? Okay, so we'll go back to those. And uh, do we know what this is? Do you want to tell the audience what this is? It, well, I got hit with it before. That's it, this is a... I'm gonna demonstrate what happened. Yeah. I tried to grab something to eat. That's what it is. It's, it's for the seagulls. In the fire department, we have a lot of seagulls. And, that, and seagulls are, as when you're prepping the food, guys are coming by, eating the cheese, eating this. So you need to have one of these, I right, Ray? The, view, the viewers at home will agree with you that I'm probably the biggest seagull. Because whenever. whenever you, you, he already took cooking, a piece of cheese out of here. Cheese. And they counted. Guys, we're cooking garlic bread. I'm eating the garlic, but I'm dipping right into the sauce. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd hit you harder, but you're a black belt. So I don't know. What were you using on that? Okay, so uh, let's go. We, we prepped that, and uh, for the bacon and egg pizza, all yeah. right, we're gonna throw the eggs on the pizza when the pizza is halfway cooked. Okay. Okay, because we're gonna be like sunny side up. Mm -hmm. So when the pie is halfway cooked, we'll go out, we'll crack some eggs on top, and they'll cook that way. But the bacon will prepare, which is I already prepared yeah. it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. He doesn't have a spoon. His hands are, his hands are full. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so. Oh my God. That's why you always buy extra because, you know, no, guys no. pick at everything. And then they say, oh, oh there's, there's no meat in the, in the sauce. I'm like, well, you, you ate it while yeah, I was trying to clean it. Good. I know. Okay, now, I'll take this as when I'm supposed to wipe my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget that now. We'll get another paper towel. It's hot in this kitchen. We love yeah. it. Oh, yeah. It's a firehouse kitchen. Yeah. It's supposed to be hot. Okay, we're going to chop this up. We're going to leave it on the side. So that's ready. Beautiful. This is all getting recooked again. I know you see four yeah. sauces next to our bacon. Everything's being recooked. All getting recooked. It's all getting recooked. So calm down, although I get emails from these guys that we don't know what we're doing sometimes. They, oh, yeah. they yell at me for our sanitary reasons. Yeah, well, everything, everything, everything's getting cooked. And, and uh, we run into burning buildings. We, we, food poisoning doesn't scare yeah, us. That's a little raw food sauce. Right? That's a little raw sauce. Okay. All right. So, uh, if I can get, a, get my hands on a frying pan, if you will, it'd be uh, so yeah, fine, yeah. right behind nice you. Nice little one. Yeah, oh, right God. there, it's perfect. Awesome. All right. Now, to prepare the sausage, what we're gonna do is just take it out of the skins here. So it's in the, it's in the casing. So we're gonna remove the yeah, garbage. Right there. You can help you out with this. Yeah, help me out. Get the skin And you always meat. wash your hands before every meal. I'm big on that. How many times we, you're cooking at the firehouse and you get a run? And uh, even if you don't get out of the rig, wash your hands. It's uh, the it rig. A water leak the rig is filthy. <laughs> okay, so. Basically, we're just going to cook. Shall I use, I use a spoon? You're going to behave yourself. I'll be, I'll be All right. Okay. So uh, this this uh, pork now is uh, is going to be cooked 15 uh, 10 minutes on the flame, just till it's not raw. Because again, you just want to prepare it because we are going to cook it later in the oven. Okay. But just uh, I usually get it to the point where it's just about done. Any oil in the pan, I I remove the oil from the meat. All right. So you're going to cook this up. While we do that, we're going to go to one of my amazing fire safety tips. Sounds great. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is how to open up a hood either to get to the battery to cut those cables, or if we have to stick a hose in there and put out a fire that's on it. Now, I've done fire facts where we use the spreader to open up that hood, but say if we just have our halogen. When I worked in New York City, if you used a tool to open up a hood, a mechanical tool, guys frowned upon you. You should be able to open up the hood with your irons. So I'm gonna take our halogen, which you guys have seen before, and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make a hole right into this point, and I'm gonna pry it up. So watch this. I'm gonna take all my force, and I'm gonna go right into the hood. As I do that, I'm gonna press up, and it's gonna peel and open up that halogen. There it goes, Rah, there we go, hit too far in. Awesome, okay, now I've got a good purchase into the hood. I can shoot the hose right in there, or I can reach my hand in, I can dis disconnect the battery, I can cut those battery cables. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is how to use a halion to open up a hood. For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes, from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, They've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what their here, foods, strives to pass on. From our family to yours. The sausage is ready. It looks delicious. I'm not gonna pick it. 
Don't worry. You see, he's got a spoon very close. I'm not going to pick. So we, we did the sausages. We roasted uh, the peppers right on top of the bar, uh, on the stove. You can do it with the barbecue at your house, OK? Black like this, you're burning the skin off. It looks like you did something wrong. You didn't. That's exactly what you want. And this skin right here just peels right off, and the roasted pepper is underneath. And that's what we're going to put on our pie. Also, in the meantime, what we did is we did the broccoli rabe boiled in the water. Now, I wanted to just show you. That's the broccoli rabe. We're going to saute that really quick, garlic and oil, hot pepper. The juice itself, if you like broccoli rabe, this is like a tea. It's excellent because you salted the water and, and the water inside. Just take it right out to a coffee cup and drink it. Guys love it. It's good for your stomach, and it's a great little, uh, That's great little treat. That's OK, amazing. now what we're going to do is, real quick, I had to get the uh, couple cloves of garlic and the hot pepper. You see the hot pepper behind you, Ray, maybe on the table? The hot pepper. Spicy red pepper. That's it. Crushed red pepper. Very That's nice. it. See, this is why when Rip cooks in the firehouse, everyone loves it. Look at this guy. He's an animal. That's it. He just moves. Give me some of that. Red pepper. Very simple way to do broccoli rub. Just boil it in the water, saute it, garlic and oil, hot pepper. And you have to add salt. So many times guys say, oh, wow, it's phenomenal. What, what it's the they forgot to put the salt in. Just you have to salt your food. Salt your food. <coughs> Salt's good for you. Let's get down to the brass. Yeah, now. you want to eat. Let's see. I'm going to saute the garlic till it's golden brown. As soon as that's ready, then we're going to add in the uh, the broccoli rabe. Right. Now, in the meantime, we're going to start making the pizzas, Ray. Now, in the firehouse, you have to have ten years on or better to touch the dough. That was our rule. Ten years or better. So, uh, Ray, well, you know, you, you, to touch you, the you're allowed. You're allowed. I'm allowed. Yeah, you're allowed. Okay. So we're going to have start out with the two trays. This is usually the fun part. Guys like this. All right. Arts and crafts over here, right? Hmm. Uh, that oil right over there, please. This oil, sir. Yeah, now we're not going to use olive oil for this, and we're going to use uh, like a little like that. Little not a lot. Sir. And then when we spread this out, right, you could do yours. Mm -hmm. We're going to spread the whole thing out. And if right. you, if, right, and if you, it has to be all the way to the corners. All the yep. way to the corners. Both sides. All, and get the sides also, because you don't want it to stick. Very nice. And that's, and that's pretty much one of the keys. Now that the uh, the garlic is browned, we're going to add in the broccoli rabe. Never mind that. This is amazing. All right. Remember, add your salt. The broccoli rabe's already cooked, so you don't have to do it that long. Now, the pizza dough, we can make your own dough. That's a little complicated, so it's best to go to your local pizzeria. Oh, so, um, I'm not you're doing good. it. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. Now, this, is, this is not going to be, this is going to be basic oil. I thought I was going to do the pizza. You man. think it's going to be floured and throw it? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, flour Shut the there. broccoli rabe off. Now, you want to really come down with a flat hand, not like this. Okay. Flat okay. fingers, down and out. So arthritis doesn't really work. No, pizza. no. You, you spread it out like this, Ray. You could turn it over. I'm not throwing it up in the air. No, I know, I know. All the fun is out of it now. Can we sing some Italian songs? You could if you like. That's my, that's my. Now, when, when you're feeling this, when you're stretching out the dough, you see how this is thin here and it's thick here? You yes. really want to get an even, an even. An even spin. Okay. And then you can wave it a little bit and wrap it on the corners. Same here. Out and wrap it on the corners. Okay, I'm not quite as good at this as rip. Oh, I'm just going to show you. And now on the edges, you want to seal the edge like this. You want to make a little edge. We'll let Ray have fun and then we'll. I then feel we'll, like I'm in kindergarten we'll, we'll, right now. We'll, we'll, we'll fix like, that pie later. Gonna, <laughs> Ray, you're doing it wrong. Okay, just like that. And now what we're going to do is going to add the cheese on. When you do the cheese, cheese you want first. to. Cheese first on this pie. Cheese first. I know it's a big shocker, right? You want to nail the four corners with the cheese. So you unflap it over the tray, and you nail the first corner, leaving a little bit, half inch by half inch. You don't you don't want to do this because later it sticks and you can't get it out. So leave half inch around. Rip, nobody's listening to you because they're all just watching me struggle. Yeah, it's okay. Well, we'll get done with mine. We'll go back to yours. All right. 
People are like, really? Really, Ray? Now, I hope I have enough cheese because Ray has constantly been picking at it. No, that's why I got hit like 10 times. I know. Okay, basically, also, 12 pieces of cheese per pizza. A row, three rows of four, and you go to your local deli, you tell them you want it mozzarella sliced up, and it's nice and thick. You tell them on the machine number three or four because you want a, a thick slice. That's pretty much what you want. I think I did a pretty good job. Ray, excellent. Excellent Thanks. job. So here's the four slices right here. Now, at this point, you're gonna have, uh, Ray, we have a little spoon here, All excuse right. me. We're gonna throw your sauce on. All right, there we go here. Now at this point here, we're gonna throw the bacon on. Oh, baby. Throw that bacon. Okay, and this pie over here is gonna be half sausage. Half sausage. Guys like a lot of meat, but. Rip, you so are the man. We'll put on, I like a, I like a nice amount. Uh, but yes. not, not too crazy, so it's a full pie. You can handle awesome. it. Awesome. Okay, so uh, the peppers that we made before, we're gonna go on. Just right on, look at that. That's it. We'll peel the black that we burnt off the other peppers. Okay. Okay, and they can be ripped out. They're all uh, basically cooked at this point. We'll throw a few of these peppers on. And now, we also have the broccoli rub. We got broccoli rub, we got it all. That was sauteed. Okay, so basically we're looking at about 15, 20 minutes in the oven, mm -hmm. 350 degrees. Every oven's different, so you gotta watch and control your oven. Sometimes you have to turn them and, and just play the swap game, but you gotta, out, you gotta watch them. Yeah, swap them out. And uh, the last five minutes before this is ready, we're gonna throw the raw eggs on top and they'll cook and they'll be done. They'll cook up in five minutes? That's it. Unbelievable. All right, while these are cooking, we're gonna go to our fire fact, and when we come back, we're gonna eat some pizza. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the Hearst Portable Extrication Tool. That's right, this is a Hearst tool that is portable. Now, Hearst makes this one, there's all the different brands, they're all good companies, they make tools that help people. But watch this bad boy. It has the same cutting power, if not stronger, than those regular hydraulic ones with the big engine. So we're in a car, accident, this is quick. We pull it right off the rig, we can get right in there. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the Hearst Portable Extrication Tool. Yes! The authentic recipes for all of our products are signature to La Morena. The chilies are literally hand-picked for each can. Everything is manufactured in Mexico and imported into the U.S. La Morena is best known for its quality and authentic flavor, giving our users a taste of home. Stock up on flavor with La Morena. It smells like I'm in my favorite pizzeria in Long Island, Mama Lombardi's. I'm looking around, but I'm actually in Mama Riboli's. All right. Beautiful. So we got our breakfast pizza, our breakfast, our breakfast pizza. I say breakfast, like a, like a real Long Islander. Uh, with the eggs on top, and then uh, this is our broccoli rob. This is unbelievable, Rip. And nice look nice. at these Zeppoli's. Zeppoli's. I was trying to use my Italian accent. Sepolis. Wow. All right. Here we go. Here goes the taste test. Look at this. I feel like I'm 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 eating in a regular pizzeria. Good. You kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Holy cow. Rip. This is the die for. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so remember I said it's because you did all the work with the pizza? Nah, it's because the pizza is awesome. The pizza is awesome. Exactly. I, I really want to try one of these Zeppelis. Okay. Tell me about these Zeppelis. Little uh, fried dough, sugar and salt, a little yeast, let them raise, and it's yeast. simple. And what, was he, what were you talking about with the uh, Oh, when you, when you put them into the uh, oil, you 
spread your fingers out, you make a little hole with your thumb, and it creates a donut effect. It creates a donut. Look at these bad boys. I feel like I'm at the carnival. Don't choke on the flour. On a, on a confection sugar. On the confection sugar. Oh my gosh. Oh god. This is completely insane. Pizza and Zeppelis. Well, Rip, always great to have you on fire. So great. Much awesome. Fun. You're gonna so be on fun. more episodes. He's gonna be our new host. Um, find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. You can friend us on Facebook, you can Twitter, do it all, see our recipes, the works. I definitely see this pizza recipe. So that's it, Rip. Thank you again, my brother. Thanks awesome. so much, Ryan. Can't thank you enough. And we'll see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. All right! Awesome. That's very, very good, Rip. Good. Glad very good. He's gonna be our next house. I love it. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Good night, Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by RW Prime, good times, great steaks. Best Market, your neighborhood's first choice. Riverhead Bay Motors, specializing in Subaru and Volkswagen. Shallon Self-Defense Center, classes for men, women, and children, kick with the best. Fire News, serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental, located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumang, fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service, servicing the food industry since 1963, located in Farmingville, New York. And firefightersfashions.com, the swag of firefighters apparel. Now you can enjoy Firehouse Kitchen at your own leisure with Firehouse Kitchen DVDs. Rewatch your favorite recipes and stories with this DVD collection.